And welcome back. This time last year, George Ezra was a relatively unknown support act touring the UK before making his debut at Glastonbury on the BBC Introducing Stage. Well, he finally received mainstream attention after posting his single Budapest online for free. Within six months, the song had been streamed more than 10 million times on Spotify. And this weekend, he returned to the Glastonbury stage alongside stars like Dolly Parton and Metallica. We'll talk to him in just a moment. You weren't actually on stage with Dolly Parton. <laughs> no, no. And no. Metallica. I, neither of those. No, if only. <laughs> I tried to watch Dolly and yeah. there was just too many people. <gasps> it was just completely round. But you, you could hear and see from a distance, could you? Or just, you yeah, could, yeah, you know, yeah. I could hear her. By all accounts, it was quite some performance. Yeah, I heard. I, I quite like the costume as well. Not for myself, but I think it looked quite fun. It was you put something. it out there now. Yeah. People are going to want to see yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> the Elvis look could happen. We're going to have a look at your singer. We'll chat more in just a moment. This is Budapest. My acres of a land, by the he may be... Go on, you can say that to everybody at home. That, <laughs> no, was, a, that was a lot of fun to shoot that yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, there was about 70 people and they were all very good friends with the director and I'd worked with the director before, so it was fun. Everyone was nice. Like a relaxed. little party. Yeah, it was good. Beautiful song. Thank you. And it kind of... Did that song change things for you? Um, yeah, it's interesting. A lot of the album and that song included came from a little trip. I, I went into Alien Round Europe and so a lot of the stories came from that and I think that was the first time that it felt like I had a body of work and things like that. So That's most people, cool. most teenagers, perhaps go into railing and maybe send one postcard home if <laughs> you managed to write well, yeah, a the nice body of work. Yeah, I went by myself deliberately. And even in hostels, I was making sure I stayed by myself in the rooms because I wanted to see if I could spend time by myself. I've got this very romantic image now of you with guitar on your back. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it was like? I had a guitar, yeah, but I don't know how romantic I looked. I only took a rucksack work of clothes and that, so I wasn't, uh, yeah. It's like going back. Nick. Yeah, well, it's really interesting. Now, uh, you, I, you must have been asked this so many times before. Your voice, hmm. which is very unique, it's a very unique voice. Uh, and a lot of people have said, you know, if they heard the voice first and were asked, you know, who, whose voice is that, and they saw a picture of you, they just wouldn't have matched them up. Yeah. Because it, it, when did that? When did you know you had a, a, that particular style? When, when I was about sixteen. 15, 16, I remember trying to sing with a big voice and it it happened. It I just happened? It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't really sing that well beforehand. My brother and sister could and I couldn't really, but I, yeah, I remember trying to sing with a big voice. Are you I talking did. about singing? When you say they could sing and you couldn't, are you talking about kind of technically? They were just better singers uh, well, technically? They, like, as in they could sing in tune, is all <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Amazing I stuff. Think, yeah. And then you consciously, I mean, I don't even know how that works. You, you, did you have a, a vision in your mind's eye? I was just how? listening to a lot of older singers that had quite gruff like who? big voices. Who a lot of Lead Belly and Bob Dylan, Tom Waits. and you know. what, what led you to them? Um, Probably a bit of curiosity at first, like my dad had a few, you know, CDs that I listened to and then you want to hear what those people listened to, well I did, and uh, yeah I soon learned that my friends weren't that interested in what I was listening to so I kept it to myself. And when you'd kind of invented the voice as it were, then it became natural to you, did you instantly get a great reaction or were people saying, you know, why, why are you singing like that, how did that go? <laughs> yeah, I don't really know, when you're younger, when I was younger, you care a bit less don't you about what but you're just That's having true. fun so I don't really know what people were saying behind my back no. <laughs> do, you, I, yeah. do you find you care a little bit more now now um, that no, things have got quite serious and grown up now it's kind of when I see I don't mind having the video on then doesn't bother me because I've had to hear it so many times you know it just sounds like me singing uh, yeah no we're going to see a bit more now because we're going to see you on stage at Glastonbury this year oh brilliant let's have a look yeah yeah Just about to see you there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's lovely shots of the band. Yeah, what, <laughs> and the flags. <laughs> yeah. What was your Glastonbury experience like? 
it was I was very busy this year. I played uh, each day. I played a gig, uh, and there was a lot of you know, interviews that I was doing and things like that. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is I probably messed about a bit more last year, but uh, it was it good. was it's work for you then. Yeah. A bit more, but it's a good place to work. Is it still that pinch yourself moment? You're on stage, it's Glastonbury, those people are watching you. Are you um, have you moved on from that feeling yet? No, definitely not, but I have this inability to realise what's going on until however many months later. So I know that I'll watch that back in however long. And uh, I'm like, oh, that happened, that's pretty cool. That's a good thing, it's because <laughs> yeah. you're living the moment. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's right. almost like it's not really you that's doing it. It's just more, when I was younger, I always used to assume that one day I'd wake up and be older. But that doesn't happen. You wake up and, you know, you're still you. And so I've just, I'm a lot busier. But it, it's happened quite organically in my eyes. Lovely to see you this morning. Thank yeah, you so thank much. Thank you very much. Cheers. George's album, Wanted on Voyage, is out now.